sleep with me, you good? Hello, I am uh, Ryan Rumberger. I'm an engineer for Nissan working on the uh, autonomous drive test team. And uh, today we're going to do a little demonstration on ProPilot Assist 2.0. And one of the benefits of ProPilot Assist 2.0 is that it can do a route assist function. That's where if you have the native navigation set to a destination, the vehicle, when you're on a restricted access divided highway, will actually guide you to the correct lane that you need to be in and assist you to make an exit to get off the freeway. So uh, it's kind of like an extra set of eyes or system to be able to help you make the route that you need to in order to get from point A to point B. So with ProPilot Assist 2.0, we do want to reiterate that this is a hands-on, eyes-on system with when the conditions are met, you can actually remove your hands from the wheel so that it becomes a hands-off driving assist system in which the driver is still ultimately responsible. We have a driver monitor camera. It's paying attention to what the driver is actually doing. If the driver is looking away, it will give a look forward warning. When the driver is looking forward, it does allow the driver to be uh, monitored and allow a hands-off driving experience. Okay, so we our journey today is gonna to take us from where we are currently, a 20 mile journey. A uh, good portion of that is gonna be on the restricted access divided highways, in which we'll do a couple of exits to be able to demonstrate the system being able to move uh, you over from the far left lane to the right lane to make the exit and so on, uh, to be able to get from point A to point B. And then now that you're on, blue button to, to turn on the system, toggle down to set and now you're green so it has to be hands-on oh. so green mode is hands-on and then eventually uh, it'll it'll transition oh, so when it starts reading all the data that it's on, yep. uh, on yep. the map and uh, in certain cases it activates very quickly in other cases it because it does depend on what's happening in the uh, HD map environment so that disengaged it Changing, changing lanes manually does disengage. So now you're in blue, and now your hands, hands, uh, hands off. So now I can just adjust the, the speed because 70 yep. miles here. I'm yep. at 68, and 70 we, now. Yep. So let's be a little bit like 72. <laughs> so we do have actually a setting inside the settings menu where you can pick uh, auto mode, and that'll auto change your speed as you're moving through different oh we'll adjust uh, it to whatever yep. the limit is at that's the right point. that's okay. right and then we also have an offset so you can decide we have a range of plus or minus five you can determine if you want to go hopefully it's the same for the policeman <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly but you're setting it so that's yeah. you know you're making that choice so now that we're in this kind of scenario and we're in blue mode now if you wanted to change lanes to the uh left or right you could uh uh, do so. So because it's a uh, carpool lane, uh, it won't actually go into the there. left, but to the right I could do but it. Like to the right, let's yep. say, for example, that a uh, big truck on the front yep. with the tank. So I'll just like indicate with a turn signal. Yep. Yep. And see, and the system will find hands on. Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's looking for space, and you can kind of see like, oh, it recognized something was there, and you can probably see in the HUD yeah, as I well. Can. And it'll kind of go through this process for about 30 seconds to try and find the appropriate space to fit into. Depending on the relative speed of all the other vehicles around you. and That's probably that. gonna be a good place. Not yet. Now. Yep, now it's going. And then as soon as it gets into its lane, the free, okay, here I am. And we'll go back to blue mode, hands off. Wow. But this system for like, especially long, long trips, it's really good because you're still responsible, but you're not, you don't have to pay that much attention. Well, yeah, right? yeah, I mean, yeah, You still yeah. have, because this is monitoring you. That's right, the yeah. camera's there. So if you wanted to, like, I, if you wanted to experience that, you can look over to your left. Yeah. I'll pay attention to the road for you, yeah. and uh, you'll get the warning when so it pops up. I'm looking up. at this car, I'm distracted, yep. I'm not. There's the message, okay. look forward. And you don't even have to put your hands oh, okay. on, you just have to look forward. Right, and so that's this one. This camera is constantly, basically, looking reading at the, the shape the, and the direction. That's right, and looking at your eyes and eyelid position. 
So in this case, we're behind this vehicle, we're much slower than this vehicle, so eventually when there's space available, it will try or make a recommendation like there that. Is, so yeah. now you push the button. Oh, uh, the, oh this yeah. one. And you put your hands on the wheel. Yeah. And then checking now, the traffic. There's a car coming. So it sees the car. After this one is clear, so it should do it then, right? Yep. Okay, it's doing it. I, I didn't turn it, the car did it on its own. Yep, yep. So it's looking for what we have determined as appropriate space. Wow, and that's really great. So now we're also using the GPS to get back to our hotel. Correct. And it's gonna, you already set up like a couple of exits before that so we can experience what the, yes. the system can do. Right, so it'll do some lane change assist. So how the customer can notice this is on underneath the steering wheel, yeah. there's a flag, yeah. that's the navigation flag, and then there's the, the lane change. So when those two are blue, the system will be in available to make make those lane lane changes so here we're going through a curve managing it feeling completely comfortable I mean no issues at all this is our curve assist take exit to slowing B on slowing the, right. the vehicle down Dunham, to Street, be able to make Dunham, the curve oh, okay. confidently we'll go one take more the next exit on the right Let's go one. Let's go one exit down. Okay. Just we'll think again. There it is. Okay. Now we're in there. Okay. And even though cars came into the Keep path, everything. Keep three quarters keeps. of a mile and continue on I-65 north toward Louisville. Wow. Again, you really have to trust it. <laughs> it does the work. Emerging traffic, no problem. Well, I mean, within reason. Yeah. So, like, this is really aggressive, people moving over. Keep next right. So we will keep right. So for example, we have set the destination, we missed the exit. So the system is recalculating yep. on its own, it will take us back. Yep. Keep yep. right after one half mile, then turn right immediately onto US 41A South towards State Capitol. And then what happens when we get off the highway in the street? I just have to be driving them. Yep. Yep. Oh, road, road construction. Temporary change in condition. All right, so you're going to have to do it now. Keep yep. next right, then turn right. And then we'll get off at Rosa Parks. And then ProPilot Assist is, is off on its own yep. because it's not reading all the data that it needs to. Right. Work. Okay. Yeah, because the, the other roads are not HD mapped and, wow. and so on. So Great demonstration. Thank you. Turn next right. Yeah, so we did some complicated things, and I thank you for. Oh, of course, no, it, it works really well, and again, I guess it's a learning curve like anything else. It's like pretty high tech, so you have to again learn to use it and trust it. So that concludes our uh, demonstration of the Propilot Assist 2.0, which is available at the higher levels of the uh, Aria Gradewalk. Mm -hmm.